fracturing. It is it is when gas and oil companies go into the earth three quarters yeah. of a mile deep and three quarters of a mile horizontally to extract natural gas. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing natural about it. The way they're doing it is by fracturing the bedrock shale using six billion gallons of water with each frac, polluting it with hundreds of thousands of chemicals, and then injecting it into a deep injection well that will never again return, the water will never again return to the water table. They're, they're here in Michigan because we have water. And, and, and it's, it's happening in over in 26,000 acres in Barry County alone. The, DNA, the, the DNR is auctioning off the mineral rights, our mineral rights in our state to these fracking companies. So we need 280,000 signatures on our petition for fracking to be put on the ballot in November to be illegal in Michigan. Vermont has, has made fracking illegal. Multiple other countries have, and Michigan can too. So the petition is circulating. It can be put on this table. Make sure you sign it in your proper county that you are registered to vote in. There's multiple pages. And then please don't scribble on it because they're very particular. So that's all. No fracking. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys, that's all we have for you. Please feel free to stick around, talk to each other, educate each other, pick up information. Okay. Okay, this is a mama's plea. This is my daughter. Can we please give her a big round of applause for organizing this whole thing? And also a mama's plea that know that Trisha personally bought every one of these t-shirts. So if you don't have a t-shirt, please don't make her go in the hole overdoing this. She would never beg, but I will. <laughs> if you can't afford the $20 for a t-shirt, just come up and throw us some money though, so she doesn't have to pay for this all herself. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank Trisha. You, Sorry guys, I was just informed We're live on live stream. Good. Take this. They need that, they can get right on Got anything you want to say? Um, no GMO. You know, be informed. There's a petition on here, sign it. We want no organic food. We want to know what's in our bodies and we have that right. So if you want that right for your children, your grandchildren, your friends, you know, people that just people in general. This is what the have a voice. No, we're not, we're not kidding anymore. They, 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 so. The skeletons are out of the closet. These evil bastards have come out to take our it. fertility, to take our birthrights, to take our health. <laughs> and we're standing around, what have we got here, 200 people today? And the rest of America is just so apathetic about it. But if there's a religion that we all need to embrace, it's the religion of survival. I think that the human species' survival instinct has gone missing. We're so comfortable with our big screen TV and our shiny new cars and everything that makes up capitalistic America. We're comfortable. And I'm not talking about us gathered here. I'm talking about the rest of our brothers and sisters who aren't conscious yet. They're comfortable. We can do better. I agree with you. We sure can. But this is where it starts. We're the group that it starts with. If there's a religion, we all need to get behind it. God knows everybody's into religion these days. If there's a religion, it's our survival as a human species. I'm serious, we are. We have got to get that act together. We've got to put that word out here. We're threatened. I mean, we are truly threatened on our survival instinct. Let's get it together, folks. I'm here as a just an average citizen just like you that's concerned about my children and my grandchildren. The farmers. And like Dan said earlier, we need to encourage those farmers that are on the fence. There's a lot of encouragement that we can do with a peaceful Gandhi method of loving and supporting one another. Yeah. But those people that are trying out there need massive support. Amen. All right. God bless us all. Let's get our act together and let's go fight this company, this Monsanto company. Thank you
live at Boston Park in Kalamazoo, Michigan, Monsanto Rally. No GMOs in our food, fighting for the labeling of our food. Hundreds of people came out today to support the rally. Can you tell us a little bit about your farm? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Tabitha Farm, it's an urban farm in the city and of Kalamazoo. And um, we have for, uh, a communal growing space and a uh, food forest, and or developing food forest, uh, so that the people in the neighborhood will have access to <coughs> fresh, healthy, organic fruits and vegetables uh, for a long time to come. And where are you located? Uh, 111 Dixie Avenue, off of South Burden. I tell, I tell right between, everyone. Uh, right between Alcott and Belmont. How you doing? Good, glad you're able to come out. Yeah, me too. Let me do this, hold on. Huh? I'm doing this live, hold on. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 